Good morning, sir. Morning. Yes, indeed, sir. It is a good morning. I do believe we are in for a spell, as they used to say in the music halls. Not too hot, but not too mild, neither. Mm. <laughs> Crazy uh, weekend just passed, sir. May I inquire as to whether Sir was in receipt of an enjoyableness, or did events prove themselves <laughs> to be of an otherwise nature? Uh, no, very pleasant, thank you. Very pleasant, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> then, uh, might I take it, sir, that for that period, you were not within the boundaries of Lincolnshire, where I understand it rained like a bitch? <laughs> uh, no, I was nowhere near Lincolnshire. Sir, I am uplifted to hear something. <laughs> No, my wife and I spent the weekend in Hull. <laughs> Sir is married? Yes. I had literally no idea. <laughs> Never mind. Sir, my remissness in failing to felicitate Sir upon the joyousness in good tidings is something I fear I shall have to live with for the rest of my life. <laughs> now, to business. Being one of the shrewdest sirs who has ever swum into my purview, may I take it that sir is keen to exploit the financial and social advantages inherent in having a haircut? Uh, a haircut, that's right, yes. Of course, a haircut is a hair enhanced, if sir will entirely fail to slash my throatlet for being so old. <laughs> now, sir, the hair in question is? What? The hair currently under advisement belongs to? What do you mean? What do I mean? Yes. <laughs> sir, I sneak myself towards the suspicion that Sir has cast me as the mouse in his ever-popular cat drama. <laughs> it's my hair. I want you to cut my hair. Your hair? Yes. So your own hair is the hair upon which this entire transaction is to be funded. <laughs> Why would I come in here to get you to cut someone else's hair? <laughs> sir, please set fire to my legs if you think I'm trying to make uh, <laughs> hair cutting sound more romantic and glamorous than it really is. But believe me when I tell you that in my position, one cannot be too careful. Really? <laughs> yes, indeed, sir. Once, and once only, have I had to cut the hair of a gentleman against his will. And believe me when I tell you that it was both difficult and impossible. <laughs> no, well, it's my hair. Your hair? Yes. Now, sir, we proceed to that most important of stages. Which one? <laughs> Which one what? Which of the manifold hairs upon Sir's crisp and twinkling headage <laughs> would Sir like to place in my professional care for the purposes of securing an encutment? <laughs> All of them. All of them, yes. Sir is entirely sure. Well, of course I'm sure. What's the matter with you? Sir, I seek not to question the profoundness of Sir's wonder. <laughs> Merely to express my own humbleness at the prospect of so magnificent a charge. No. <laughs> well, all of them. All of them? Yes. All of them? Yes. My word. Is that a problem? Oh, no, indeed, sir. No, indeed, sir. Not a problem, sir. So far from being a problem, sir, as you <laughs> would not believe. I merely hope that sir can take time off from what I know is a very hectic schedule to appreciate that for me to cut all the hairs on sir's head represents the snow-capped summit of a barber's career. <laughs> well, you've done it before, haven't you? Oh, 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 yes, indeed, sir. Yes, I once cut all the hairs on a gentleman's head in Cairo shortly after the war, when the world was in uproar and to a young man everything seemed possible. What? <laughs> It would be bootless to deny that I was a younger and better-looking barber then, but uh, let's hope that the magic has not entirely disappeared up its own rabbit hole. We shall see. We shall wait see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait one cotton-picking minute here. <laughs> You've cut someone's hair, all of it, that is, once since the war. So would prefer it if in the sphere of total hair cutation I was to him a virgin? <laughs> yes. That I can respect. What? The desire that we should both of us embark upon this journey together as innocents, as wide-eyed travellers to a distant land, unknowing of our fate, careless of our destination, to emerge someday, somewhere, bruised, sad, a little wiser, perhaps, but ultimately and joyously alive. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Sir is leaving. Yep. May he favour me with an explanation as to the whyness? Of course. I don't believe you've got the faintest idea how you're going to end this. <laughs> Sir could not be more wrong if he tried. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Well, go on, then. Um, no, you see, you're completely stuck, aren't no, you? No, 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 no. I can, I, can, uh, I can convincingly end this sketch in 45 seconds. 45 seconds? 45 seconds. <laughs> All right, then off you go. Um, if Sir would care to resume the seatedness of his posture. Okay. <laughs> May I assume that, sir, it's close to the level of maximum comfort? Forty seconds. <laughs> Very good. Um, I shall just go and fetch the necessary tools. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, 
it's going to be a chainsaw or something. <laughs>